Hey, hey, hey. This is your boy once again. KQKC Boxing Network. Working hard once again. Coming with another throwdown video. That's right. A lunchtime video for your asses. Now, we've been talking and talking and talking ever since he put everything up his ass. Not one, not two, but three, four different PEDs. Oh, let's not forget that motherfucking gerbil. Now, all of a sudden, somebody picks his fat ass up. And now, here we go. He believes that he will whoop Anthony Joshua. And when he does, all the fans will shut up. Well, first let me give you my take on it. All right? Let me give you my take on it. All right? I'm sorry for that disturbance. All right? But let me give you my take on it. Okay? Now, one thing I can say is this. Fans are not going to shut up. Fans are not going to be quiet. Fans are not going to give you no pass. Because you cheated. You are a cheat. You cheated in kickboxing. And you really, really cheated in boxing. So why should we give you a pass? I don't give a shit you win three belts. You're not going to get a pass. You're not going to shut us up. Sometimes. Most of the times, all the time, the problem with boxing, the sweet science, is PEDs. And God damn it, you the poster boy for PEDs. Oh, I'm not finished with your ass yet. I do have a one o'clock timetable. You're not going to get off that easy, fat ass. You're not. Sure. Anthony Josh is not a formidable opponent, of course, against top heavyweights, but you're not a top heavyweight. You're a fictional heavyweight. What I mean by that is you need everything in your power to have power. You're not a naturally born fighter. You are not a natural, period. You are a cheat. You are a stanking ass cheat. So, whoever, I mean, whoever you ever get in there and fight, I pray to God that they go up your ass with a fine tooth comb. And I mean that. Up your ass till you taste well the fucking whipped cream. That's KQ take on it, God damn it. Now, let me give y'all take on it. Or let me, no, no, no. Let me get your, his take on it. All right? How about that? Is that all right? Now, Big Baby Miller, or, or Jarrell Miller, what his mama call him, said he can't wait to shut the mouths of critics. It's not going to happen, fat ass, I told you, after he knocks out Anthony Johnson shortly. Okay. I'll bite. Miller's 23 and 0. But now, as we think about it, now, as we go back and think about it, the best, the best, and we being generous, he should be only with 14 wins. Not even that. Not even that. But we're being generous. Sometimes, he think we are stupid boxing fans. We know when you weigh over 300 motherfucking pounds and you go into round 12 like it's the beginning of the fight, it's a problem. It's an issue. It's steroids. Huh? I'm going to talk to you. Talk to me. Huh? Now, he goes on to say, especially... He wants to shut Joshua promoter Eddie Hearns trap because he had a lot to say about him since 2019. Of course he did. Now, I'm no Eddie Hearns fan. You know goddamn well I'm not. But he had the right to say. Now, if they're friends or not, I don't know. But 
He said, that's his friend, Anthony Joshua. And what you try to do is what we call attempted murder, motherfucker. You know, you're from New York. You can sell out a stadium in New York, but at least you're from New York. Hello. So he have a right to run his mouth. And he have a right to keep running his mouth. That phony ass apology you got. You cried for yourself because you got caught. You didn't cry because you almost killed a man. You didn't cry because you almost died in the ring walk. I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to talk about it. You see, her wasn't happy. I don't blame I don't, I don't blame him. Then, here come another fat ass. Andy Ruiz, who ruined his chances. AJ still got beat. But see, that's when cherry picks go wrong. It's difficult to understand why Miller had bad blood with her. No, it's not difficult. It's easy. You cheated. Now, Eddie Hearn, I have no doubt in my mind as a pathological liar, he have done his cheating too. But he done his cheating by learning from his father. By learning from his surroundings on how not to get caught. But Big Baby Miller, he got caught. Because why? Because he's stupid. That's why. He's stupid and he wanted it too much. And when you want something too much, what you do? You start taking shortcuts. You start trying to get to the finish line faster than anybody else, but not doing it the right way. Now, Hearns went to bat for Miller in the first place in choosing him. And he wasn't bothered by boxing fan ridiculing his choice. After Miller tested positive for all those banned substances, Hearns had no option but to pull him out of the AJ fight. Miller, 31, wants to redeem himself. He feels he's in an excellent position to do that. Now he's signed with top rank. Now, I can laugh or I can cry. But I won't, de- I won't do neither one. Because you really fucked up now, fucking with Pepper Bob. Because, see, you understand this. Pepper Bob days are short. They day his days are numbered. Whoever take his place, you think they gonna be bothered with your fat ass? Get real. You are three hundred plus pounds, big baby. And he states that he will be fighting in the co feature spot on the Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder car in October or whenever it takes place. Miller expects to be challenging Fury for his WBC heavyweight title in short order. Stop trying to be a star, fat ass. You're not one. You're never gonna be one. You're an addict. You a PED addict. So, you need to be banned from sports, period. You already got banned from kickboxing. The WBC, if they was a little firmer, a little harsher on everybody, not black fighters, not Chinese fighters, Oriental fighters, not Mexican American fighters, all fighters, you ain't shit. I'm sorry. I have to go in on him because you trying to play us like you played Eddie Hearn. And I don't blame him one bit. See, listen, son. You trying to con a con, man. That's what you're trying to do. And they ain't gonna work. I've been there and done that. Eddie Hearn, oh, he been there. You know he have done that. And we ain't gonna talk about Oscar. He been there and oh, he done that and more. And Pepper Bob, 
We all know what he done to Muhammad Ali. So what he would do to you, that ain't shit in my Clay Davis voice. Wake up, fat ass, and smell the coffee. Wake up and find out that you are not that guy. Wake up after that win that you cherry picked and watch how the crowd and fans still talk about your team ass and that gerbil. Wake up and find out that you are not that champion. You will never be that champion. Wake up and see that people don't care about you like they did before. Cause now they know the truth. Wake it up. Your days are numbered. Your days in the sport, in the sweet science of boxing, in the community of boxing, in the governing bodies of boxing. Wake uh, up. Cause it's over with. It been one. It been one for you. I am KQ. KC boxing network if you like the content of this video feel free to subscribe right now and hit that icon bell you will get notified each and every time i do a video or a live stream my days are monday through saturday monday through friday at one o'clock p.m central time and on Saturday mornings, 10.30 a.m. Central Time. And Sunday mornings. That's right. OG Boxing Talk. Right on Fanon International Boxing Channel. I am your co-host. Fanon is your host. And you also have Blood Boxing as your co-host. And you also have Drew Titan as your co-host. Oh, we're we doing it. We're doing our thing. I am. A member of the little group that making the biggest noise and that's the LDBC and shout out to them I'm on I am on to the next one